Hey y'all, I'm Rick Monroe, and I'm in the hot seat, and I'm gonna take the test drive right here. Country music is, it's, it's all encompassing. Com country music is a way of life, it's a lifestyle, it's a, it's a, it's a type of person. Um, and pretty much everybody, when you go, I'm in, I've been around the world. I literally have been from Russia to South America. And the best part about country is it connects with people. Even if people don't really understand the language, because it's so story driven, they can kind of figure it out and they can really gravitate towards it. So I just think country music is, you know, uh, to quote somebody else, I guess it is, it's not just countrywide, it's worldwide. I was probably, in my mom's belly when I first heard my, when I heard my first country song. Uh, uh, my mom used to drive around and, and stop to the beats and stuff, and I know she was a, she was always a big, big Willie Nelson fan, and a, a big again Hank Jr. was always a big part of you know my growing up. Probably a couple times I was uh, having the, the brakes tap to uh, numerous of his songs, so that's probably where it all started. Uh, the single Fires Out was kind of a, a weird hybrid of an idea because at the time I was listening to a, a bunch of Bruno Mars. <laughs> and I thought, what would it be like to mix that with a country feel? And I know everybody's trying to do more of the hip hop. And I was thinking, what more of like a pop funk thing mixed with the country vibe? What would that be like? And that's kind of, you know, what the focus was when we started writing Fires Out. And as we wrote through it, it was uh, Ryan Griffin and Joe Doyle and I put that song together and uh, it's really cool I like the way it, it came out and got produced because it does have that flavor but I still think it's authentic hey y'all thanks for taking a test drive with me check out the new single fires out and God bless yeah.